This video is to show you how to do post-processing using your own base and your own rover, how to start the survey and how to do the post-processing in Trimble Business Center. So the first thing that we're going to do is, let me just open this controller, is that you must make sure that you have a, a survey style to do post-processing. If you don't have a survey style on your controller you can go to settings survey styles and this is where you can see which styles you have already so I don't have a post processing one on my controller I'm going to create a new one if you already have an existing one you can go into one of these styles and just edit um, them so I'm just going to create a new one click on new and you can call it whatever you want I'm just going to call mine post pro for post processing. Your style is GNSS, is GPS. This is what the style that you're going to choose. Click on accept. And then you go through all your settings. So my rover options. My survey type is not RTK. It's going to be fast static. My logging intervals that I want, I want it to record every one second on my rover. My logging device is my controller, so it will log all the data on your controller when you're walking around with your rover. And you can choose if you want it to automatically name the files for you, or you can type in a file that you want. I'm just going to call mine pp. demo and then the rest of your settings you can go through choose your antenna the one that you're using mine is a R8 so I'm going to leave it there check on the list for your receiver Okay, uh, normally your rover you'll measure to the bottom of the antenna and your carbon fiber pole is 2 meters. So you can put that in if you want. And this also your tracking, um, make sure that you select the ones you are unable to. And say accept. Now my base options, also my server type is not RTK, it's also fast static. I also want my base to log every one second and my logging will be my receiver because the controller is not at the base when you start the server you're not going to leave your controller there so you can't change this to controller unless you have an extra controller that you want to log it onto otherwise you leave it on the receiver also same settings your antenna my antenna is also a R8 but you must choose the one that you have from this list um, I'm going to measure mine to the center of the bumper, but it's all up to you where you want to measure your height of your receiver. Uh, I can't put in an antenna height because you don't know what your base is. Your base will always change when you set it up. And also, just click on the, the tracking that you are enabled to. Click on accept. Go to fast static point. Now this means that uh, you can also you can auto store the point if you want. I'm not going to tick this on. I want to store it when I'm ready to store it. And also this time is for when you are tracking four satellites, it's going to record data for 20 minutes. Five satellites, 15 minutes, more than six, eight minutes. I'm going to change this eight minutes. This is all the. It depends on how far you are from your base station as well. So I would recommend that you put a minute for every kilometer that you're away from your base station. If you're 20 kilometers away, I would say that you need to record for at least 20 minutes. I'm just going to change mine to 20 minutes. Or for this exercise, I'll just change it, make it 10 minutes. My base station is not, this, not, not very far away from me. And also, I would recommend take this auto store point off 
for if you want to log data for as long as you want to. That's why I take that off so that if you are 10 kilometers away, you log for 10 minutes, and then if you 20 minutes, uh, 20 kilometers away, you can leave it so it can log for about 20 minutes. And then say enter and accept. You don't have to go into this laser, laser range finder. It's just if you have a, a laser device that you want to connect to your controller. I'm just going to say store. And there's my survey style. And now I can escape this. Escape this menu. Okay, now I'm going to go to general survey. Are you ready to, to do your survey? I'm just going to click on jobs. I want to open a new job. I'm also going to call this job PP demo and also just make sure that your coordinate system and all your settings are correct and then you can say enter and accept create a job now I'm just going to go start my base so I want to click on J uh, instrument Genesis functions and uh, I want to connect to my base I'm just going to click on base mode so I'm connecting via Bluetooth Just click on base mode. There we go. So now it's connecting to my base station. Okay, there I'm connected. Then I'm gonna say start survey. Post pros post processing. Okay, my point name, I don't have any coordinates in this in this file of mine I just opened so I'm just gonna I have the coordinate written down so I'm just gonna put that in I'm just gonna call my point base click on this little arrow I'm gonna say key in and I'm gonna key in my coordinate Gonna click on control point. It's my base station point. It's on a known point. One I've got. Say store and your antenna height. Put in whatever your antenna height is. And I measure to center of bumper. And you can say enter. And then you can say start. Base started. And now you can start your rover. Just remember for this type of survey you don't need your radio so you don't need to set up your radio when you set up your base all you need is your base receiver um, and the antenna but you're not going to need your radio so you don't need to put in that little radio um, aerial into your rover or into your base or the external radio you can just set up your receiver over your point so now I'm going to go to my rover mode because so I've started my base. So now my base is logging data every one second on the receiver, saving all the data on the receiver. And now you can start your rover and you can go to your points that you want to go measure. Also, post processing. Okay, and then it asked me for my name to for the file. It, it's going to name this file this. Um, where it's going to log the data in in this file okay and that's the one I've set up in my survey style I just say yes accept that's the one okay and there it started my survey now you'll see at the bottom you'll see there it says fast static okay and then you can go to your point and when you're at your point you can click measure measure points and you can give your Point a name. Um, I'm just gonna call mine V1. Just a random name. And my code, you can type in whatever you want. There, it's a 16 millimeter pick. 
whatever you want. Okay, and then your antenna height, two meters. If your carbon fiber pole is two meters or whatever rod you're using, measures to the bottom of antenna mount. Okay, and yeah, it will show you your time when you start to measure. And then you can have it all it over your point, nice and level. And then you can click measure. And now it's measuring. So I've set this up for nine minutes. Ah, for 10 minutes in the survey style so you'll see their time left okay but uh, you can always log it for more because we switched off that auto store so if it reaches 10 minutes you can still carry on logging um, I'm just gonna pause this video sorry I don't wanna abandon no I'm just gonna pause this video while it logs data and I'll show you when, when it's finished what, what we'll do next. Aye. Okay, so I see my point's almost finished. Um, another 16 seconds to go. Okay, so there it will ask me, there you can see the store button appears and you can store it now if you want. Or you can leave it to carry on. That's why I say if you have, um, let's say 1.10 kilometers away that you want to go measure and another one 20 kilometers away, you don't have to go into the survey styles to change the time there every time. You can just leave it now so it can still record for another 10 minutes for your point that's 20 kilometers away. So the total will be 20 minutes then. Okay, so but I'm happy with the time now. It's recorded, and then you just say store. Okay, and there it's stored my point, and you can measure the next one. So I'm just going to escape. I'm going to end the survey. Let's just say I only had one point that I want to go measure that was very far away. And I'm just going to end my survey. Power down the receiver, I'm just going to say yes, because I don't need my rover now. Okay, so we still need to go get the file from the base receiver, because it, it recorded that data on the receiver itself. But my rover data, the one I've just, the points I've just measured, it stores it on the controller. So I'm going to go to my base station, connect to your base. Okay, then you can also end the survey there. I was just going to say end survey, end post processing survey. And it's ending the survey. Power on the receiver, I'm just going to say no because I want to still import that file onto my controller. So if you're still connected to your base station, all you do is you click on import files. 